Where am I? Am I on Maladies? Am I in Bali, Australia? No, I am still in this forbidden lockdown in Finland. It's minus 20 degrees, it is cold, there's no sunshine, there's no beach. But with this upcoming class, you can work on that inner beach, on that inner sunshine solar plexus chakra, which is pretty much the same as sitting on your private yacht, drinking champagne with your dear friends and laughing. So check it out. Hop on your mat. If you do enjoy the class, give it a thumbs up. If you like it so much, then subscribe. If you feel like not doing any of those things, then just do the yoga. That is the most important thing. So just lie down, release your hands down to your belly. I'm going to take a minute in here, letting go of uh, all the daily stuff, you know, your work, your job, your family, your relationships. Let all that go. Remember, this time on your mat is your time. It is really important to concentrate on one thing at a time. So to concentrate on your yoga practice, not multitasking in your mind, not organizing your calendar, not um, thinking what you're gonna have for supper or so on, but just focus on yourself. This is the time to listen to yourself, to become your own friend, to believe in yourself. So just enjoy. Feel your body, feel your heart. Communicate with yourself. Ask yourself how you're doing today. What is going on in that beautiful body of yours? How does your body feel? Do you feel any ache? Do you feel tension? Do you feel freedom? Just explore. Bring your awareness to your stomach. Just above your navel, there's the solar plexus chakra. The sun within, that's what we're gonna work with today. Plenty of core exercise coming your way. So in this uh, quite a short class, you, you're gonna get a good workout, but you're also gonna get a bit of a peace of your mind. So, so some peace to your mind. Good. Beautiful. Now with the help of your hands, start to bring your knees together. Nice. Hug your knees into your chest. Maybe rock yourself side to side. Maybe just circle those hips around or legs around so to release any bit of a tension in your hips and the other way also. Now from here, take your hands down to the ground. Beautiful. We're gonna do a bit of a flow next. So on your exhale, lift your chin up to your knees. And as you inhale, you're gonna come into low boat pose. So again, hug those knees in and inhale, lengthen. Continue like this, exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale remember to smile while you're working on your core it makes things so much better good exhale and inhale press that lower back into the floor and last one good hug it in nice take your hands down to the sides take your knees into 90 degree angle and from here, using your core muscles. Exhale, bring your knees down to your right. Inhaling back to the center. Exhaling to your left, keep the knees together. Inhaling to the center. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. 
inhale, center. Two more rounds, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last one, up, and one more, and up. Beautiful. Now take your hands down to your sides. We're going to rock and roll, roll a little bit. So on your exhalation, you're going to lift those hips up and then you're going to inhale. You're going to rock yourself up and exhale. Take a bit of a forward fold. So continue like this. Roll and up. And roll, and up. Last one like this. Straight legs. Good, I hope I'm in the camera. Not inside of it, but lift. This time coming into your butterfly. Soles together, forward fold. Good, and up. And forward, and two, and good, and your last. This is so much fun, you know I love rocking and rolling. Good. This time, roll back, come into your Navasana. So coming up, and back, and coming up, and two more. And last. Good, stay there. Smile. Beautiful. Cross your ankles and take a forward fold. Good, as you come back up, move straight to your all fours, tabletop position, with your wrist underneath your shoulders. Good job. Nice, from here, a couple of gata and gals. So exhale, rounding your back. As you inhale, lift the chest, lift the tailbone. Exhale, press those palms to the floor, round the back. Inhale, lift and look forward. One last, exhale. And inhale. Beautiful. Now stretch your right leg over to the back, press the heel away. Hold it there. Breathe. Keep your gaze in between your thumbs. Your back is straight. Nice. From here, we're gonna lift that right leg up. We're gonna lengthen the left arm. Hold it there. Straight line in your body. Keep the core engaged. We're gonna release the left hand down. And you can take that left foot slightly over to the left and you're gonna rotate the hips open. You can feel your right hand starting to rise up. Good. Hold. Keep the core engaged so you can actually feel that core engaged. You're not moving the leg to the back. You're not stretching your hip flexors, but you're keeping a nice straight line. Good. Now you can release the leg down, shift the hand forward. And we're gonna work on those obliques. So when you exhale, bring the knee and elbow together. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale, last one. Exhale. And inhale. Beautiful, lift the leg up again. This time bend your knee, grab a hold of your right uh, foot. 
Good, press the hips forward. This time you're really working on opening up those hip flexors, chest. Good. And release. Beautiful. Take the leg down, push the hips back quickly. And come back to the center. Let's do the other side. So start with the calf stretch. All you do, you push that left heel back. Hold and breathe. Nice. Lift the left leg. Keep the core engaged. Lift the right arm. Find your balance. Focus your gaze on one point. Forget about everything else. Try to find softness even though the pose is strong. Release the right hand down. You can shift the right foot slightly over to the right. Start to rotate. You can again feel that left arm lifting up. Hold it there. Nice. Release the leg, shift the hand forward. As you exhale, knee and elbow together. Inhale, lengthen. Three more, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Inhale. Beautiful, lift the leg back up. Bend the knee and open up your hips and chest. Good, just press the hips forward. Good. Release, shift back to tabletop position. Good, take a child's pose, this time with your knees separated. Push the hips back, walk the hands forward. Release the forehead down. Hold and breathe. Nice. From here, walk your hands back. We're gonna untuck the toes or tuck the toes and we're gonna come into a forward fold to the back of our mats. Allow your head to just rest down. Keep your knees just on a micro bend. Relax. Nice. Now you can open up your feet just a tiny bit more. We're gonna come down into a squat. So if the squat does feel um, not good, you can always use a blanket underneath your heels just to get a nice stable ground underneath. So the foot is flat. Good. Or stay up a little bit higher. We're gonna do a little warm up here. So, so, so. On your next inhalation, you're gonna press down through your heels. You're gonna lift your arms up. And as you exhale, you're gonna come back to your squat. So we're gonna move a little bit faster. Inhalation up, exhalation down, pressing down through your heels as you rise up, root to rise. Inhale and exhale. In. Continue, four and three and for two <laughs> and last one good take your hands down lift those hips bring the feet about hip width the butt and take a forward fold just relax oh it was quite an energetic little boost there nice with your next inhale, start to bend your knees. It's almost like you're sitting back. We're gonna reach the hands forward. 
And as you exhale, you're gonna take the hands back down, lengthen your legs. Again, five more, inhaling, sitting far back, weight on your heels, and exhale. And four. And three. And two. And last one. Good. From here, start to walk yourself over to the downward facing dog. Good, adjust yourself properly. Nice. Hold it there. You can always take a child's pose if you wish. Just a little break. If you feel like the legs are still a bit tight, you can just walk your heels up and down. Now press your heels towards the ground. As you inhale, bend your knees, look into your fingers and take a step to the front of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring your arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Good job. So moving into our flow today, take a deep breath in, reaching your arms up. And as you exhale, take a forward fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhaling, take a step or hop back to plank. From here, Shaturanga, halfway, half Shaturanga. Take the tops of your feet down, inhaling into upper facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Good. From here, come back to your plank. Good, hold it there. One, two, is it fun? Yeah, because we don't know how far I'm gonna count. Holding it, holding it, good job. We're gonna lower the right forearm down. And we're gonna take the left forearm down. Good, hold it there. Nice, release the knees. Tops of your feet, hips down. Take a swing pose. Hold. Good, tuck the toes. Lift your hips, your knees. Left hand, right hand. Push back to uh, down dog. Look into your fingers, inhale, hop or step to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, let's bring those arms up. Exhale, hands back to the heart center. Continue, inhaling, arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, take a step or hop back. Shaturanga. Inhaling to up dog. Exhaling to down dog. Inhale, lifting your right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Inhale, come up to high lunge. Good. Reach your hands forward. Hold, breathe. We're gonna shift ourselves into warrior three now. So on your exhalation, you lift your left leg. Keep holding, keep breathing. And step it back, reaching your arms up. Exhale, take your right, left hand down, right arm up. Turn your toes over to your right. Take a step to side plank. And on your exhalation, right hand under. Inhaling, arm up. Exhale. Inhale. 
two more. Exhale. And inhale. Last one. Exhale. And inhale. Take your hand down. Take a vinyasa. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. Good. Take a breath here. Relax. Let's carry on. So on your next inhalation, lift the left leg. Exhale, step your left foot in between your fingers. Nice. Inhaling, reaching your arms up. My hair is suddenly on a up, on. Good. <laughs> and let's move the hands forward. Breathe. Try to feel the lightness. Try to feel uh, kind of a lightness and shift the weight forward, left. And step it back, reach the arms up and bring the right hand down. Left arm up, twist, easy twist, turn your toes. Take a step back to side plank. On your exhalation, left hand under. Inhaling up, exhale, inhale, two more, exhale, inhale, last one, exhale, inhale, beautiful, come into your plank, you can always take chaturanga with your knees down, inhale, upper facing dog, exhale, down dog. Hold and breathe. Remember, you can take a child's pose here instead of your down dog. Let's continue. Inhaling right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Take your left foot down. Rotate those hands, warrior two. Good. Now, from here, we're going to reach the arms up, engage your core, exhale, shifting the hands forward, holding there, breathe, engaging those thighs, inhale, coming back up, exhale, warrior two. Now, on your next exhalation, we're gonna rotate the left hand down again, right hand up. We're gonna shift the toes, and we're gonna step into side plank. Good. We are here again, but it is such a great pose for obliques, so stay here. Bring your right hand down, and chaturanga to up dog. Down dog, hold and breathe. We're gonna do the other side, good. On your next inhalation, left leg up. Exhale, left foot steps, right heel down. Rotate the hands. Good, squeeze those thigh bones towards the pubic bone. Have a nice base for this pose. Good, inhaling arms up. Exhaling, shifting the hands forward, 45 degrees. Hold it there. Try to keep strong. Inhaling back up. Exhaling hands to the side. We're gonna rotate. Right hand down, left arm up, toes, and take a step back. Hold it there. Good. Hand down, chaturanga, to up dog, exhaling to down dog. Nice. 
This time from here we're going to lower ourselves all the way to the belly. Nice and slow. Good. So from here we're going to reach the hands forward and we're going to lift the hands, we're going to lift the legs. So as you inhale, lifting, lower, exhale. Inhale and exhale. And eight. Good. Seven. Lower. And six. And five. Good. Four. Good. Three. And two. And last one. Good. Bring your hands next to your sides. Take a child's pose. Rest it out. Relax your forehead down to the ground. Good. From here, a couple of rocking dolphins. So, forearms down. Shoulder width apart, we're going to interlock our fingers, thumbs up, tuck the toes, exhale, lift the hips up, and with your next inhale, bring the chin to your thumb, push it back, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale. Exhale, last one, and back, good, bring the knees down, we're going to walk the hands forward, keep the toes tucked, we're going to stretch out those feet, good, hold it there, spread the fingers wide, we're going to lift the head, lift the hips, inhale, lift the right leg, Exhale, step the right foot to the edge of your mat, outside the right palm. Exhale, we're going to step the left leg in between. We're going to lower the hips. Good. Take your right foot outside that left thigh. And inhale, lengthen your back. Exhale, take a twist. Quite hot. So, this is a hot studio, so it's about like, I don't know, 32 degrees in here. Outside it's minus 20, so it's a lovely 50 degree change from in to outdoors. So lovely. Very hot. Also, I gotta say that this winter time really does create some sort of a hibernation thing on my body, so I can feel that everything just sits and all the food stays in my body because it's kind of like stores the fat for the cold weather. <laughs> really annoying. <laughs> nice. From here, we're gonna step the foot back. We're gonna shift the hand to the left, uh, or the weight to the left hand. We're gonna lift, we're gonna take a step back, and we're gonna take a down dog. Other side, inhaling, lifting the left leg. Exhale, step the left foot and bring the right leg between, lower the hips. Good. Step the left leg outside your thigh, lengthen your spine. Exhale, take a twist. Good. Roll those shoulders back, open the chest. Breathe. We're nearly done, so we're just gonna have a couple of last poses left. So preparing to cool down. It is a short session, but I think it's quite efficient when you need a bit of a boost of energy, when you need a, like a lift me up, then instead of running to those espresso machines, then start push play, push play on this video. Have you noticed that um, I haven't speaking, spoke English, please speak <laughs> English for a while now. It's uh, it's kind of hard, difficult today. Good. Come back to the center. 
and bend your knees and take your hands over to the front we're gonna slowly 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 lower ourselves to the low pole pose bring your hands to your heart center lengthen your legs and we're gonna roll to the right we're gonna roll to the left and right and left and just gently like this really nice for the core really nice for the obliques just rocking yourself Keep that core engaged. Just one more to the right. One more to the left. Come back to the center. Lower, hug those knees to your chest. <sighs> Lift the legs up and just shake it. Arms up, shake it. Ay, wonderful. Good. Let's take a last little twist. So. Cactus arms, bring your right knee on top of the left, lower the legs down to your left side. Good, feel the stretch all the way down in your obliques, in your glutes, everywhere. Good, come back to the center, swap it around and exhale legs over to your left. Hold and breathe here. Squeeze out all that negativity, squeeze out the worries, the stress, the bad feelings, anger, jealousy, greed, all that nasty stuff. Squeeze it out like you're a sponge, you're just gonna squeeze yourself toxins emotional and physical and yeah that's about it good job come back to the center bring your feet down nice adjust the back and for that last little moment Take a happy baby pose, grab a hold of your toes and press the knees down. You can gently rock yourself side to side. Sometimes I even like to just kick, you know, like a really happy baby, just kicking those legs around. Good. And release. Come into your Shavasana just for a few minutes. Try not to skip this pace, it's really important. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Let go. Now take a deep breath in again and a really slow, slow exhalation. You're going to empty your lungs completely as you exhale. Then 
Continue to breathe just nice, slowly, pretty naturally. <clears throat> Moving your toes and your fingers and your head side to side. And then bring your feet together, reach your arms above your head, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bend your knees and turn to your right side. Good. From here, we're gonna come up into a cross-legged seated position. Bring your hands together, rub your palms together. Cover your closed eyes with your warm palms. And in the darkness of your palms, open up your eyes and take your hands back to your heart center. Namaste. Thank you so, so very much. I hope you enjoyed this little blast of fun in the sun and on the beach. And um, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to have some other videos, go ahead and uh, comment below. Ask me what you would, I would love to know what you want to do. So just, just tell me, your wish is my command. Anyhow, have the loveliest day. I hope you got a lot of energy out of this class and you have the greatest rest of the day. Peace out.